Hello. This paper is about learning dynamic user behavior based on error-driven event representation. Before introducing dynamic user behavior, let's first talk about temporal networks. Temporal networks are a series of network snapshots ranked by time, where node attributes and network structure can both evolve over time. It is important to study temporal networks because compared to static network, temporal network contain more useful information, such as evolution process of the attribute or structure, dynamic similarity between nodes, and so on and so forth. In this paper, we aim to learn dynamic user behavior on temporal networks. Learning dynamic user behavior in temporal networks is of significant importance. If we treat nodes in the network as users, then user behavior learning and embedding allows us to capture users' dynamic preference, predict users' future action, and perform potential anomaly detection. Let's take this image as an example. This image shows three users' behavior in temporal collaboration network. By learning each user's behavior pattern, we can predict who he or she is going to collaborate with in the next year, as well as inferring users' research interest. However, existing methods have two main problems in learning dynamic user behavior. The first family of research mainly focuses on user profiling, but they can only work on static network for downstream tasks like user classification, which is not suitable in our case on temporal networks. The another kind of research can work on temporal networks, but they usually use all the historical data to perform future action predictions, such as link prediction. So it inevitably introduces a lot of noise, but not all historical data are useful for future action prediction. To overcome this problem, we propose a new framework, LDBR, to perform user behavior embedding on temporal networks. By exploiting behavior embedding, we can perform real-time semantic label classification and future behavior prediction. As mentioned before, not all historical information are useful for predicting future actions or inferring the current semantic labels. So we propose to use event instead of all historical information for these downstream tasks. In this paper, an event is defined as a smooth behavior over a period of time, and behavior is defined as a sequence of semantic labels. For example, in this image below, A, B, and C denote the semantic label of users at different time steps. The most recent events in this image are shown in the dotted rectangle and the whole behavior sequence is shown in the circle. We believe that compared to the whole behavior sequence, the most recent smooth part, i.e. the most recent event, are more suitable for both current semantic label prediction and future status prediction. For example, let's take user two as an example. He used to study on data mining and then he changed his research direction to deep learning. We believe if we want to predict his future research direction or who he would collaborate with, we believe the event, the learning, is more suitable than data mining or data mining compared, combined with deep learning. So how to find a smooth event? In this paper, we use the cosine distance to measure the extent of smoothness. Given a user v and a time zone t s to t, we define the smoothness as dv to the t s to t as the average cosine distance of node embeddings between consecutive time steps as this equation shown below. And we say a subsequence is smooth if this distance is within some threshold tau, and tau is defined in the equation below. This is the framework of the proposed LDBR model. It has three steps, and you can find the details in our paper. Know that because we don't have real-time labels in most of the real-world datasets, so we use link prediction errors to train 
this LDBR model. We propose a smooth sampling algorithm to sample events for model training. For example, in order to perform link prediction at time t e plus 1, there are three steps to sample events. Step 1 is to sample nodes randomly from dataset. And step 2, we sample a start time t s with weight decay. And the final step is to check whether sequences between t s and t e of all the sample nodes are smooth event by comparing the cosine distance with tau and keep the valid nodes and abandon the invalid nodes. We train this model by optimizing the final loss function defined in the paper. Due to the lack of real world data set with temporal label, we construct a data set archive from raw data. This data contains 6,000 nodes with 13 time steps and you can find more details in our paper. For experiment, we perform temporal link prediction on five datasets and temporal semantic classification on archive datasets. We can see that LDBR outperforms all baseline algorithms. To summarize, we propose a new framework to learn user behavior on temporal networks and provide a new dataset with dynamic labels. The proposed algorithms can learn event embeddings to represent user behavior, and user embedding can be used to perform better on downstream tasks like temporal link prediction and semantic label classification. Thank you for watching.